Hi, welcome back to Coco and Jerry. Jerry. I'm Nisi. I'm Ron. And as you know by now, we are in Vietnam. Vietnam. As you may or may not already see, we've had, we've only been here for one week and we're in our current place, our apartment, and it's so beautiful as you can see, but we have some problems and it's making me miss Nana and Tata. The safety of Filipino food, the comfort of Philippines that I've never experienced, but I've experienced through my nana and tata and through my husband. I mean, everyone here in Vietnam is asking if he's Vietnamese. Yeah, good and dark. Vietnam. Xin chào. <laughs> Anyways, so <laughs> I'm gonna teach my Vietnamese husband <laughs> how to make ginataan, and I'm gonna be making the shrimp version. What's shrimp then? Hipon. Hipon. I was gonna say hapon, but it's hipon. See, almost. I should be in Philippines. Why are we here? Yeah. We should go to Lanchon, Kuali City. <laughs> anyway, so we are going to be making ganataan hipo. Because <laughs> I that was the last Filipino food that we had back in Canada, and it's gonna be the first Filipino food that we have here in Vietnam. The squash is the only thing that we could find at Lotte Mart. We were supposed, you know, we went to the markets. Listen, we went to the markets as you may or may or not seen, and Lotte Mart was cheaper and a lot more sanitary, and it's just cooler. It was civil. It was very nice, <laughs> but um, yeah, we got this squash. We got this coconut milk, which was not cheap. It was like the same price as same in price. Canada. Whatever, it probably got. And then salted shrimp paste is the only one they have. It's the, like the non. I don't know if version. there's a place that we can buy it, like the Philippines style. I feel like well, Filipino doesn't this. want to be here, but it'd be the same. Cook Let us know in the comments down below. Do Filipinos like it here? Have you been here? Anyway, so we're going to cook this with the shrimp because we actually do have shrimp. So best to cook this with garlic and. We have garlic and we don't have onions because we had to weigh the onions before we buy them. They're already done. We we're just long. like, no, we're we're done. We're time out. We want to go home. Blah 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 blah. Because this is our literally our second, our first actual day in this apartment. And yes, we are going to make Filipino food. So let's get started. You need to help me with this squash. And I'm going to cut garlic. my garlic. Teamwork. Teamwork. So how did this feel? Not eating Filipino food for a week. It's okay. As long as I can eat. Yeah, I'm thankful to eat. Yeah. Right. I mean, Coco's not doing great adjusting to the food. Jericho's mm. actually okay. She's not into like the rice noodles, the rice, everything. She just, even before we left Canada, she was complaining about eating too much rice. But now I think she just appreciates rice, like the regular rice. Because, yeah, that's all she got. Everyone hates cheese right now. What's going on? It's like a cheese pandemic. Why? Who I don't know. That? Filipinos don't care about cheese. They have Eden cheese, which I don't even know what's in Eden cheese. It's not cheese. cheese. No, it's not. It's like condensed milk cheese. No, it's not. <laughs> it's like so different to regular. Cheese. I'm not hating on him, just personal preference. I don't like it. That's one thing that's nice about this place is the ingredients are so wow. Fresh. Even in a market, it's like, like so Ron nice. Ron made me this breakfast uh, this morning with the bread that we got from the bakery here. It's a Italian bakery. And then we had the tomatoes from Laudermark and we had the eggs and cilantro. That's just like the the grocery store here, like Lotta Mart. It's not even the market, but the even the ingredients there are fresh because when I ate that um, toast with egg and egg, it tastes like five star. I'm actually drooling. Five star restaurant. It was so yummy. I was shocked. I was like, oh, it's the ingredients. It really makes a big difference. Mm. It's the benefit of being here. Like the ingredients are so. You don't even have to be a really good cook. You just need to have a good ingredients and you can impress people. And the coffee is endless here. Yeah, hey, uh, coffee feel like, is really good. I like the coffee here. Yeah, I haven't Both stopped different drinking. kinds, so. We've been going to a different coffee shop. By accident. 
going to Philippines, how different it's gonna be. Like, I feel like, does Philippines even have coffee shop? It only has Starbucks, Tim Hortons. Oh, like a nice one. Like, all of them here are like local owned <laughs> coffee shop. Like, there's so many business owners here. That's what I like. There's like no corporate anything. It's just all local. Yeah, like, you have a house? Business. It's so mean. Like, my like if, people. If you have a house, you have business. Look at this. I brought this from Canada. Support plan. Look at that. I'm a chef. Um, I'm going to fry the shrimp paste and the shrimps. And the yeah, fry the onion and uh, garlic first. Garlic and then the shrimp paste and then the shrimp, right? Yeah. All right. Let's oh, do it. This time I almost throw your garlic. Yeah. Okay, I haven't used this conduction stove yet. Induction. Which one am I doing? Whoever Does it know which one I'm doing? No, like this one is for this one, that one's for that one. That's why it's oh, plus minus. Okay, got it. And then up it is hot. Nine is the max. Okay, okay. Oops, that's a lot of oil. Just place the hairpin so it's uh, okay, okay. not stick because it might stick. Okay. Let's put there. Okay, drop the garlic in. Add the thin? No, they're gonna fry a little bit. But then I add this, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm still learning the food. Basically, just cooking okay, up. Uh, a shrimp. Oh, that's true. You might not. You might not. I don't know. You might not see us in this apartment next time, guys. I can't even begin to tell you. How much? Is this enough? Okay. Oh. No, I'm not cooking it all. It's not going. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Bro, that smells like the aqua street. Ooh, that stink. Stinky, eh, camera? Blech. Blech. We can just, um, when the guy comes to fix the toilet, because our toilet's leaking, we can be like, see how bad it stinks? <laughs> We want to get out of here. <laughs> oh, it stinks so bad. Should have just stayed in a hotel. No. We're trying to be so local. What's our problem? Are we going to do this in Philippines? Are we going to be local in the Philippines? Well, it's very straightforward there. Like, yeah. Maybe you said it's, it's the bedroom. It's like baking. Vessels and the electricity. It's very straight How much is that in Canada? They don't um add it together. They should always add things together. Like all inclusive would be great. It'd be great if we could stay in your auntie's house. We don't have any green beans, just squash and shrimp. So, this is the Thai version. So, this looks much better than it I was thinking. It's just very coconutty. Hmm. Home. It's like home. Good. Coconutty. Nothing more small. I think I am. 
scrape off the side. Okay. All right, so we are done. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. We're gonna enjoy our soup, our soupy, our yummy food. Soupy soup. Soupy soup. <laughs> <laughs> yummy. <laughs>